so welcome to our channel electronics on wheel as usual please like subscribe and comment if you like the content of this channel so last time we have created one video on the what is wiring harness on routing process and routing guidelines the basics of uh, routing so here uh, we have asked one question regarding why the car fuel tanks are always located in the rear side so one of the person one of our subscriber jadeep sindhi has beautifully answered the question in the comment box so please read this comment in the comment box of this video you will get the inside some some insight about how to answer of any question in interview as well he has beautifully explained the three regions what are the three regions that fuel tanks always in the rear side of the vehicle if your vehicle is in ice so we got one request from uh, our subscriber to create the architecture so they have requested us so different uh, request like can architecture ecu and ecu message transfer how it is happening through the pgn spn what are those things but uh, we will come on this because uh, we, this is more in detail sorry we will come on these topics on can architecture and how the ecu message transferred in the pgn and spn basically he is talking about in the uh, you know software side how the pgn and spn uh, you know the, these are the formats how this works and second request we got the uh, from friend that can you help to know the high voltage architecture full be so here uh, this particular video we are making on how the different topology in the uh, electrical and electronics architecture are used so we will go on detail on this architecture as well can architecture and high voltage architecture but first we will see how the different topology in the concept stage of vehicle are developed so mainly two architecture we have one is domain architecture this is this one and other one is zonal architecture so domain architecture which is very specific to the domain controller you can see here these are the domain controller and we have one gateway here which is connected to pass or you to throw the communication to other ecus and second architecture which is our zonal architecture where all the domain controllers these controllers are centralized in one supercomputer that is this one as you can see we have four different zones zone controllers so these zone controllers take the information from this ecu and ecu take the information from the sensors then it goes to zone controllers and then it is processing only in one center computer so this is the zonal architecture so there are different different uh, uh, you know benefits over the uh, domain architecture we will see those benefits but today let me specific about the tesla how they have progress in the ee architecture we will see their three models and how the traditional architecture it is so let me go to the very specific to the tesla in today's video and after that in second video we will see what are the advantage of domain architecture and what is the advantage of zonal architecture and what are the pros and cons of zonal architecture and how it affected your wiring harness when it comes to the zonal architecture so let me start with the tesla so you know the tesla is a very innovative company and has made a significant contribution to the advancement of electromobility tesla faces significant pressure right now from the chinese automaker who are capable are of uh, producing the high quality electric vehicles with an excellent technology you might have heard byd and byd is taking over to the tesla uh, in terms of sales but in the technological also in terms of technology in terms of advanced technology they are also taking over the tesla and other competitor in the european market as well 
So let's take a closer look at the revolution that Tesla was able to make in terms of topology of electrical and electronic architecture of the vehicle. So as you can see here, we have the domain architecture and here we have the uh, journal architecture. So these are the regular EVs still are on the domain architectures where I told you, you have the domain architecture. Uh, you will be having the different, different domain architecture like body domain, infotainment domain, chassis domain, and then you will be having some central gateway and then your communication will be happening to other domain controller. So this is how domain controller works and regular EVs are working on this. So if this, uh, you know, uh, this electrical and electronic architecture is uh, uh, or topology is a very broad and complex topic. So I will give you only the very brief overview of the specific to Tesla. So the E and E architecture of vehicle from the European market or manufacturer is at least eight to ten years behind that of Tesla right now. Using if you see here, Tesla is using the journal architecture. So as I told you, like the EU manufacturer, car manufacturer are at least eight to 10 years behind that of Tesla. It is no joke. It is a real fact. Let's believe that some of them will have in 2028 what Tesla had been in the 2018 in the field of EE architecture I'm talking. So within the framework of domain architecture, uh, the ECU control communicates and communicates the data actually. Uh, and share the data through the internal network within their domain while also stabilizing the communication links within the ECU external domains. Due to the potential difference in the network st structure between domains and a gateway is used as I told you here, the central gateway to make a bridge to facilitate the communication. So there is a substantial increase in the number of ECUs if you see here which is consequently leads to the creation of complex wiring harness system that are burdened with a higher weight and cost. If you take the example of Tesla model S and X as an example that uses the traditional E and E architecture topology within a central gateway. The model S has a wiring harness system with a length of 3000 meter. I am talking right now on a traditional if you are going with a traditional way that is our regular EV domain gun. The cable harness in traditional model typically becomes the third heaviest and the most expensive component in a vehicle with a maximum weight of 50 kg. And if you see in terms of length, that is three to five kilometers. Can you imagine? So Tesla has de decided to adapt the zone architecture to save the length, weight and price of the wiring harness system and simplify and speed up the communication. So they come up with the zone architecture. So you can see here. So in zone architecture, basically there, uh, what happens in zone architecture or issue, the, uh, they are organized based on their location inside the vehicle and the connected via zone controller to the central computing module with a large processing capacity that can perform all the computation regardless of function. So thanks to this architecture, Journal, journal architecture, the length of model three cable harness has been reduced by half to the approximately 1.5 kilometer. So earlier we were using three to five. Now it is around 1.5 to two kilometers of length of the wiring harness. Tesla intend to reduce the length of the car wiring harness to 100 meters. You can imagine how fast they are going and what are their thought process in the future. The Tesla model three is uses three zone control units respectively in the front body control module, left body control module and right body control module. You can see here. You can see, sorry, here. This is, this is. So they are responsible for managing the communication between the power distribution and the logic control throughout the all physical zones. So Tesla model Y utilizes two zone control unit eliminates the front body control module and merges its function into the left and right body control module. So this is how they are going in future. Chinese automaker, as I told you earlier also that Chinese automaker also a big competitor for the Tesla and they are, uh, you know, expanding in terms of technology also. So Chinese automakers such as Neo, Zepeng, Saik, 
and other all are involved in the field of electric vehicle architecture they are roughly on a par with tesla or even ahead of it so this is how the different topology the tesla is using and you can see that how fast they are going but tesla is having big competition from the chinese automakers they are going very fast and they are having the vertical integration of all the components what tesla was also doing but how fast tesla is doing and how fast chinese automakers are doing that makes you know very big difference even uh, i was reading somewhere that chinese automaker are going to create the vehicle within one or two years you can imagine that how fast and how uh, much speed they are going to develop this thing so if you find it this video interesting please like subscribe and comment thank you for your time